in my car. Not working. You know what? It's <laughs> obviously not. I'm listening to Led Zeppelin. That's the noise you're hearing in the back. Um, you know what? This isn't gonna work, so we're just gonna work with what we got here. Okay. I'm in my car. I apologize for the awkward placement, the weird headspace that this is probably going to be in the video. But a few months ago, I said that I wanted to kind of make this channel not just about football, but also about everything kind of supernatural, paranormal, basically anything spooky. And not just in October or fall, which is my favorite time of year, but all around. So basically, I want it to be like this spooky environment 24-7. Today, I'm at my old college campus in South Texas, which is Apparently one of the most haunted places in the state of Texas. We heard this all through college growing up. I, obviously it'd be so much more spooky if I was, oh, there's a cat, if I was here at nighttime, but I can't do that because I don't, I mean, I can do that. You know what, I should probably come at night at a later date. But right now is when I had some free time, so I wanted to come and take photos and show you all the legends behind the University of Texas at Brownsville. This was basically, um, a station for soldiers way back when and apparently a lot of hauntings still go on around here so I'm gonna tell you all the stories but I'm also gonna show you all the campus it's a beautiful campus it's very historic looking but it's uh, it's got a lot of history and with a lot of history sometimes comes paranormal activity so and again I apologize for this awkward placement I need to get like um like a, a holder or something for the car I don't know University of Texas Rio Grande Valley is in Brownsville, Texas, and it's one of the oldest cities in the Rio Grande Valley, which is about roughly a million people population. The campus is located on Fort Brown, which became a really prominent fixture during the time of the Civil War. And it was basically, it was renamed in honor of Major Jacob Brown, one of the first casualties in the Mexican-American War. The fort was built in 1846 and it was the first major U.S. military post built along the Rio Grande. A really cool thing about this campus is that all the buildings are still in use. So yes, they have a lot of very interesting history attached to them, but they're actually still being used as like administrative buildings and buildings that people go into quite frequently if they're here on campus. Of course, because of the campus's history with the Mexican-American War, people do claim to see soldiers roaming across campus constantly dressed in military attire. They even have seen this old cook that they've aptly nicknamed Big Red, and this is all on the South Texas College side of the campus. The old morgue obviously saw a lot of wounded soldiers in its time, but one of the most really macabrely interesting anecdotes about the old morgue is that it was one of the first places in Texas, if not Texas and in the country, that was used to study yellow fever, autopsies in yellow fever. Gorgas Hall is one of the administrative buildings that's still in use very, very prominently on this campus and sightings here range from a weeping mother of a soldier who people can hear crying at night when they come or soldiers themselves that people have seen walking along these wooden floors like like they're still in the war almost and paranormal investigators have come here and have experiences being pushed touched they hear whispers and i don't know how valid this story is but supposedly there was this one tree on campus that i don't i wouldn't know where the tree is but several people were hung from that tree and the spirits of those people who were hung now haunt the campus there are also dorms, remodeled dorms, on this campus and several students said that they've seen the image of a boy who seems to be around three years old who regularly visits the dorm rooms. What he's looking for, they don't know. The boy doesn't speak. But when you have literally years and years of history attached to a building, there's bound to be something. I've never experienced anything, unfortunately, but I 100% believe that something is here. Maybe it's my imagination playing tricks on me, but I swear I just, like, I heard a whisper in the little wooden hallway thing. <laughs> I got butterflies, like, I swear I heard a whisper. But that could just be my paranoid imagination. I don't know, I'm here by myself. It's very pretty, though. 